Evan, the author is State Rep Kevin West, who's already filed numerous bills this session right here at the state capitol that deal with the issue of gender. West says he's just maintaining the status quo, but critics argue this law would make it so folks couldn't change their gender, which would, uh, which would lead to Oklahomans having different records on different forms of ID. The reason for the bill is uh, just to give clarity to Oklahomans as far as uh, what we can and cannot do as far as changing the uh, uh, birth certificates. State Rep Kevin West from Moore is the author of House Bill 3219, a bill that would bar people from changing their gender or sex listed on Oklahoma birth certificates. He says changes are already not allowed by the health department and several court rulings, but says a bill would make it so the rules are clear. So this is just, uh, in my opinion, this is adding clarity and transparency. Critics, including Freedom Oklahoma and state Democrats, see it differently. Simply another attack on self-determination. Essentially a, a barrier in how you live your day-to-day -day life. Nicole McAfee, the executive director of Freedom Oklahoma, says the bill will impact not only people that live in Oklahoma, but also those that have moved to another state. Folks have the right to have their gender marker corrected in states all across the country, and Oklahoma would be a place where if you were born here, that right would no longer be afforded to you because of this bill. With this bill passing out of the committee with a vote of 6-2 to two along party lines, it now awaits a vote on the House floor.